honoring my brother, my former uh, MP of Bandai, Konawo Kujito Yabomo. I think Konawo uh, Pomo is the brother and is my mentor. Honorable Pomo came to this house in 1993, which means he had done five ten, which is 20 years in Parliament, which is a long journey. Such personality need to be honored, need to be remembered. And then as a matter of fact, the public need to know the contribution he has done for this great nation. When you listen to me very careful with my statements, you will hear me mention several committees that you have chaired yourself. I've been uh, you call parliament, you have been the Minister of State in charge of scholarship with presidency, and he has brought a lot of development to the constituency. Talk about racism, talk about water, talk about concession of rules, and um, division of rules, and all that. And I knew, but even when I was in guesses. And so, if somebody, as you I mean, Honorable uh, Arun I made mention about me contesting him primary and all that, about two or three, and, but if somebody, after the primary, he leaves with you as if nothing has happened. Hmm? He leaves with you as if nothing has not happened. And you can see the contribution of the China members. Last styles in Parliament here, his behavior, his punctuality to the duty, and bringing water down to Bandai and other places that they all benefited. So, if somebody, people may not see it as me. And member of Parliament, current member of Parliament, the revolution from the senior members, I was taken aback. <laughs> you understand? And which it has even revealed more for me to follow suit some of this thing that the men said that he championed it. The people have to be there. You understand? So, and to talk about the condition of the members of parliament which were all involved, we are all talking about it today. And at any day, after all this contribution, we have not left the chamber. We hear the bad things that happened. That another member of parliament has fallen. If you see, I mean, former members of parliament come to the house here and they tell you that this man was MP, sometimes you ask yourself, is that how I'm going to go, to go out with? Because you better spend anything that you earn here. You borrow left and right to solve problems for the constituents. Sometimes you've been to the detriment of your own life. That you will have to taking BP medication every day, sometimes twice a day. And you ask yourself, if you leave this house, even none that maybe parliament can support you more to buy this medication, if you leave this house and you are no more a member of parliament, you don't have anything to do outside, how would you buy this medication? So, yes, they have voted for us. We are the drivers now. We must also be fit. They would check the affairs. The purpose of which they have a letter to this parliament would be fit. If you are sick, you can come to parliament. If you have health, I mean, welfare is, I mean, I mean, is questioned, you cannot come to parliament. And sometimes we struggle to come to parliament because you want to be there. But that's where they ask you to come, if you are nowhere. So it is the issues that must be looked for. Into, to make sure that this thing is settled once and for all. Because I've been talking about it, this is not the first time. We're talking about MP welfare, MP welfare, 
meet former MP, member of parliament and they are working and come and it's so much and so much that people must or the general public must know that if you elect someone to this house this is so demand i mean demanding such a way that if you are not careful lose our life along the way you cannot get to where you think we're going so the welfare must be looked at i think the speaker the current speaker is doing well you want to make sure that things are right in this parliament and are changing the standing order to make sure that they take care of certain things but it shouldn't be just a talk. We must work the talk. We must work the talk. And it is not we here that said, do it so that to will benefit you. Because we can't be here forever. We will leave. Other people will come. So if you are also thinking that we got the MP, they are saying that the I enemy mean, better condition or MP speaker to do something so that we are laying the foundation. I didn't. We are laying the foundation for those who follow you to be able to benefit. So that if we are affected today, tomorrow we can't even be affected. This place must also be attractive. And that's why when you are doing well in the business sector, you leave your country department, you regret. And someone will ask you that if you regret, go. You cannot go just like that because it's also a duty. You have entered. And so I think that this statement today has brought or I mean through more light into the issues that are hidden somewhere that people don't know. That at the end of the day we have not left the chamber and the same issues happen that somebody is falling. And the life of a member of parliament is very delicate. Even as we're talking about this sickness about that other things I will advise all of us, as a member of parliament, to take care, of, very good care of ourselves. When they talk about taking care, of, very good, it's not about getting money and using for making. No, no, it's about our life. Where we sit, where we eat, where we drink, you never know. So, I am just using this medium to also wish the family members of Honorable Committee well that he has done. Well, looking at the tribute and looking at the contribution for the old, I mean, the other side, the majority minority shows that this man actually lived the life to the fullest. You cannot see any black spot on this, I mean, journey. That is why you come on. And I think the members of parliament should take a cue from here. Let our, let's live the life in such a way that people can talk about us when we are normal. It is not about, <laughs> I said, me, and I will, maybe sometime I will put something somewhere, I said, say it as it is, who was that there in Sarawakwa? Don't come and police, if I was still, say it. That thing will come to me, that only if somebody died, I can't come and say 990 and that person. At the moment, one was not such one. Because it's not only the four people that hear about what we're talking about. One will make a speaker with the, the, the delegation for the family and the other friends. Was there chairman who was there as a majority leader? The as what do you call it? Uh, Atu Fosin was there. Amo Kofibwa was there. And they all said cool things about the Pomo. And so even today. I have made a statement in honor of my brother, my senior brother, and all this good thing was have been said against about him. Then it means that he has actually lived a life to the fullest. So we should emulate this man, take the crew from him, to live our life in the society, in parliament here, as we deal with our colleagues other side, the MPP or NDC. They never know who will become a next president who will be your savior. So we should make sure that we deal with issues as it is. If it is about parliament, if it is about Ghana, we we'll make sure that we deal with the issues as it is. Because we are Ghana, we we'll make sure that we want to save Ghana. I need to eternity. May you so rest in peace.